Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our sixth in our series of a la carte. I'm Trish Rooney from Lakewood Community Services Center, and I just want to remind you that Three Arches Foundation is making these demos possible. Today we have Kiwi Wong Peng, who is the chef and owner of Tai Tai. Um, and Tai Tai has been named the best um, Thai restaurant in Cleveland for five years in a row by Scene Magazine. So we're very excited to have Kiwi here today. So I'm going to turn you over to Kiwi, who's going to start us on a dumpling journey. Hello. Thank you for coming. My name is Kiwi. I am the owner at, at Tai Tai on Madison Avenue. Um, today, I'll be showing you guys how to make dumplings. This is my own recipe. This is what I make at home with my kids. You know, just like something simple. Um, like I told a couple people before, uh, these ingredients, I got them from Giant Nigos. So these are available at Giant Nigos. So I have cabbage, spinach, some carrots, some onions, garlic, and here is um, sesame oil. Also got them from Giant Nigo. Rice vinegar and light soy sauce, which we're going to be making the ginger sauce with these guys. Um, there are also some ingredients that contain no soy, or if you're allergic to some of the ingredients, those are available also. They make all kinds of stuff for you know, diet restriction people. So first thing we'll be doing is saute the filling, make the fillings. Oh, also this is um, the wrapping. I know it said one ton wrapping, but I use these two to make dumplings. So we'll be making the fillings here. First, I will be making, um, I, will be, I will saute the um, spinach first because they soft and they seem to get cooked super fast. Just waiting for this to get hot a little bit. I'll say about two tablespoons of these. Sesame oil. Can you spell that? Just until they get kind of soft, not overcook them. I know in my recipe uh, it said mushroom, so I keep mushroom out today just in case of somebody is allergic. But mushroom is great also in the dumplings. Just about this texture. And then we'll put that aside. All right, so now we'll go in to make the rest of it. Okay, again, sesame oil, two tablespoons. Okay, onions. I 
have my friends here with me. His name is Vincent over here. He also works at Tide High. If you guys have any questions, you can also ask him. Anyone been to Tide High before? Oh, hi. <laughs> Um, at Thai Thai, so our dumplings are chicken and vegetable. Um, I'm working on the vegan version, but this is my vegan version at home. I seem to cut things really small because um, my kids, if they see vegetable, they freak out. So I have to cut everything really small. And you know, it's wrapped up so they won't see what they eat. All right, so once the cabbage is soft, we'll add um, carrots. Some salt. pepper and then I put garlic um, minced garlic last because so we won't burn them Yes, we, we actually can put uh, meat like turkey, ground pork, or even ground chicken. All right, so once it's translucent, I put um, the spinach that we sauteed earlier, I put them back in here. I like to make dumplings because it's fun and my kids would um, come around the table and you know we would spend time together that way. These days kids are just on their iPad and phone all the time. Just like, hey, we're making dumplings, come on. So everybody put that stuff down. All right, so that's about good. Very fragrant, very smells good. So we'll let these cool down and then we're going to wrap them. But I already made the um, finished filling here. So I'll show you a couple floor that I'm going to make. I will need three volunteers to come up and do it with me in a bit, okay? if that's okay with you guys. So this is the circle, circle style. What I usually do is I kinda brush water around 
this. And then about a tablespoon of the filling. So kind of leave the space around the wrapper and pinch the middle. And then I put water on the edge of the wrapper. Then I would go like this, pinch it. water right here um, just to remind you I am not an expert of doing this at all most of the time I YouTube how to fall <laughs> that's one Piece of paper, put some piece of paper right here. Yep. So there's one. So if you follow my recipe, you can make about 40 of them. Just depend on how much filling you put in the dumplings wrapper. So once again, pinch in the middle. Pinch right here. There we go. Here you are. All right, I need three people, please. Come on over. I have gloves. I have gloves there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was good. You're going to use both hands. Right. Thank you. Here is your water, your filling. Do you want to try to circle one first? There you are. Yep, so we'll do water. Now do you take it all the way to the edge? To the edge, yes. Come on in. Yes, come on in. Um, if you guys and then are we just we doing one? The restaurant. Um, are, are we, are we <laughs> taking a little bit? Yeah, take a little bit and then like so. in the middle. Mm -hmm. and then you About like a tablespoon. Okay. Got it? Yeah, goodness, I can't get it close. And then we pinch <laughs> in the middle. Okay. Is it best to hold it like this when we do this? Yes. Okay. And then we yes. push it in. Oh. Out here. Okay. Yep. How much do you, how much do you put in? Uh, a little more, yeah. just like a tablespoon. And then you do take yep. it. Yep. Push yes. it in on the sides. And pinch it. And then pinch all that closed. Uh-huh. Okay. And then pinch this back over here. Okay. I got it. Oops. <laughs> Should I open this? I put it all in, so I don't know, maybe I just you, put it you know, to me, it doesn't matter, like, as long as the filling stay in, like, yeah. Okay, now, I did this. Now, do you wet this here? Yes. Oh, Out of pot, yep. <laughs> and you pinch and then, it. Mm-hmm. Now, what, what was it? Oh, okay. you push this way? Yeah, put this this way. Did you put water? Yeah. Okay. And then, then, then push that that way. That's yep, kind of, yep. Here. Pinch it here. Okay. So they stay. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna Show do square, square one next. Okay. Show us one. No one. Square one. one. This is little <laughs> weird, but <laughs> no, it's, it's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll move it right square. here. Okay. We're do All right, square. <laughs> is this good here? That's really good. All yes. All the way around. All the way around. Yeah. Okay. A tablespoon. Do you have another one? Oh yeah. Can you give her one? Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, shit. You're getting I'm not sure if that's two or one. It looks like one. This folds a little Same differently. Same idea though. Oh, yeah. Corner and then corner. Corner sand. And Do seal. You first? Yes. <laughs> These clamps are a little bit. Yeah, they are. <laughs> How much do you put in with this? A tablespoon. Like that? Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get okay, in there. So is mine. <laughs> now, what do you do? Oh, um, you did yours differently. Right? I just corner. How did you fold oh. it in? Yeah, well, I fold it in. That might be a little too much. much. I'll take yeah, a little bit out. It's just too I think thing. it is a little too much. Yeah, yeah. I could a bit out. My gloves are really weird. <laughs> okay, so this is like that, like shoe my style, kind of? Yeah, yeah. Like this way. Okay, and do we make the little hooch thing? Yes. Hooch, is that technical? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll try one more. We'll try one more style. This one, this is a fancy one. Uh-oh. We're not ready? ready for that. Oh, okay. No, okay. Okay. Oh, you yeah, we'll, you'll no, finish right. that, and then we'll do a fancy one here. But this looks the same as the other one. So I got too much stuff in here. It's yeah. spilling out. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if it spills out? It spills Just out eat it. <laughs> we'll we'll still eat them. <laughs> It'll cook. Can okay. I eat it? <laughs> yeah. All right. The fancy one. one. Okay. Yes. Over. Corner. Over. Corner to corner. Corner. Okay. And then make a triangle, but we seal them. Yeah. Okay. So all the way. Yep, all the way. Seal them. Can you help me with this? I yeah, we'll, we'll fix that. Okay. <laughs> and then we point the yeah. pointy pad toward us. It's Just close. make a pouch like a. Yes, I'm doing the. Yep. This is uh, the gloves. Yeah, are you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gloves are getting in the way. <laughs> the gloves. So, oops. Yeah, probably be easier That's to good. do this with no gloves in your own kitchen. Pointy pad toward you. Oh, my timing. There you go. Got it. Okay. And then, well, how's this amount? What? Push Is that of your finger. So it's like a little, a little yeah. too much, yeah. And then Is we're gonna <laughs> put these on top of these. Okay, okay, wait. Right. So the back sides are the back sides, yes. Like this. Back, mm -hmm. kind of? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Got it. Yes. Like this. And then what do we do? Do you wet that's those to keep that? Yeah. Right. Now what? It's just a menagerie. Right. And then you do this. Yeah, uh, they're a little wet. <laughs> there so we go. Yeah. There oh, we go. Cool. It's like a goal. <laughs> awesome. That was fun. Thank you. <laughs> are we excused? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Can I take this with Yes, <laughs> yes. Here, I'll put it back. We're... We always make it back. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so once we have these, I usually um, freeze them in the freezer for a couple hours or overnight. And then, so I, when I usually make them, I make 200 of them, two, 300 of them. So that will last me whole winter. I can make um, soup with them. I can boil them or steam them and just eat it with the sauce. Um, you can store them up, um, up to six months. So I usually make them in October and that will last me until March, February or March. And then you can store them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer. And anytime you know you need something to eat, something fast, bring them out, boil them, make a soup. A uh, very easy way. I usually just get chicken stock, and then put this in them. Maybe add some broccoli, add any vegetable that I like. There you have a soup. So I'll. I usually boil these in the hot water. 
just for a couple minutes until they comes up. These two? Yeah, my break. Yeah, my break. Okay, now ginger sauce. So this is some of um, the dumplings that I made last night, and I pre-cooked them, so we're warming them up, and then you can sample them. So here is um, ginger sauce. Ginger sauce. Very simple. Equal part of Rice vinegar, light soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, and then you whisk them until the sugar kind of dissolves. Anyone allergic to ginger? Yes? No? Yes. So I already have the one with ginger sauce that is already ginger in them, so I'll leave this without ginger. You guys know Matt Fish? Matt Fish? So him and I went to the same school. I just graduated, he graduated long ago. So I follow his steps. <laughs> so ginger sauce, you can um, store them in refrigerator, I would say like a month. So I don't make much. Um, I usually make about a cup or two cups at a time, so they won't go bad. And just put them back in the refrigerator. That's how you save them. So if you add um, any meat, for example, like turkey, the less of vegetable. These are the one that we made. <laughs> Anybody have any question for me why we're waiting for our dumplings to be cooked? Have you guys had bubble tea? We also sell bubble tea at Thai Thai. Yes. What kind of cabbage did you use? Cabbage, just a white cabbage. White cabbage, yes. For like a grocery, like ingredients? Um, the good one is Park to Shop on East 30th and Payne Avenue. We go there a lot. They have millions of sauce and ingredients and vegetables. Smells good. What are some of the um, dishes that you like at Thai Thai? Oh, thank you. Oh, mango sticky rice talking about that. So you know how like it's been warm winter here? So we have mango sticky rice right now. So mango sticky rice, we usually sell them in the summer, but we have them now because it's been kind of like 
warm and cold. What about some of the spicy stuff? What do you guys like? We have really good curries too at Thai Thai. Our curry goes from mild, spicy, and hot. Garlic is good. Everybody got one? How was it? Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you guys at Thai Thai sometime. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you.